Hello uh, and welcome to another tutorial, a Mapbox uh, tutorial, Mapbox in combination with landscaping, uh, the fastest way to get your BIS data into Unreal Engine. And uh, before we get started to import our landscape, I will show you what's necessary to in order to work. You have to install it into the engine and then you will see landscaping map box here the plugin you need also landscaping because landscaping map box is only an extension to get the data directly directly from map box and after that you have to go to project settings and scroll all the way down and uh, here you have the landscaping settings the cache directory should be set if not don't worry, it will be set automatically to CW temp landscaping and the projection mode should be in use CRS of input file or EPSG 3857 on Mapbox import. That's the default option. Unless you have really special requirements, I would leave it as is. Here the world position marks landscape size is also important because it determines how big a landscape can grow. 16,384 meters. This is in meter, uh, which means 60, roughly 60 times 60 kilometer landscape is the biggest single landscape actor you can get. This is the landscape actor in world, world petition mode, and then you have the streaming proxies, and this actor, this landscape has an overall size. Here it's two times two kilometers approximately. You can look it up also in the top view. Hold down the middle mouse button and drag it all along, and you can measure here the distance. And yeah, it's about two kilometers times two kilometers. <coughs> and that is what the settings are for. You can see the settings here landscape size is 16 times 16 kilometer default is this uh, this 8192 and in you have to be a little bit cautious because if you uh, want to make a big single landscapes then um, you have to have enough RAM all right we uh, will leave it with the setting uh, we had before this is for extending the um, landscapes and this is also if you have multiple landscapes uh, and import it with map box disable this to have um, to have a seamless multiple landscape which uh, go uh, extend without any seams so um, this is the landscaping setting which are relevant for map box we can leave it here because we will just have a single landscape in this uh, in this occasion and here we have the um, uh, map box settings the APIC API key uh, is something you will uh, have to look up in map box itself so mapbox.com and you have to go to an account or make an account if it's not if you not already have one and then you will see access tokens and you have to copy the access access token here a for public token and pass it in here this is the rpk key and zoom factor um, yeah I will not go into detail the, the defaults uh, are fine if you want to know more about it just read the tooltips it's all information you will need is in the tooltips here so if you have any questions just read that I will not go into detail we will start right away and so we make a new level that's always uh, how I start when I want to make a new landscape um, for quick start we just uh, open the landscaping tab then for map box import we go to DTM options we will see the map and we will um, yeah some interesting terrain may 
might be in Switzerland or northern Italy. Lake Como, okay, why not? Um, and then there is this rectangle tool, we just make this rectangle and we see 14 kilometers. Well, I think for demonstration purposes, this is just fine. And um, you see the bounding box here, the extents, you will always also, um, it's also possible to show it on the external map if you want to see it bigger. But uh, uh, for this one, I think it's it's just the same here inside Unreal Engine. And here is the um, uh, projection, which is auto-selected, uh, the setting of we saw before. And if you click on it, you see the um, uh, description of it in the EPSGIO, which is a good reference if you have any questions about that. So the next thing is we close that and we hit import. We are asked to smooth the landscape on import. Yeah, why not? It's uh, nice. The only thing you have to um, the only thing you have to uh, think about that is uh, if you have multiple landscapes, you have to um, you have to make sure that you. Uh, disable smooth edges. So we have a part of the Comose here now and yeah, it looks pretty okay. I see the Lake Como and the next thing we do is without further ado we will import satellite images from Mapbox. So we uh, have um, nice colors here and see what's the nature and what uh, the lake about. Hope it's beautiful. It will import it as decode by default, which means it will be projected onto the landscape. And when we go in top mode, we see ooh, there was a boat as the image was taken. A uh, big boat, obviously. <laughs> all right. And here you have all these um, houses from Lake Como. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's nice to see that. I wonder what the weather was on this day. The default um, resolution of the um, decal actor is here and it's projecting the satellite images on top of the uh, landscape. The um, default resolution here is a texture. You will find it also here in um, the landscaping directory in your content. The, um, here is the texture, it's default uh, 8K. You see it, dimensions 8K, and um, all textures will be this resolution, which is the higher currently uh, supported resolution by Unreal Engine. There are other options. Um, you can also, if you uncheck this and uh, click at the right image, it will be imported and applied as landscape material. I don't see much use in this, but maybe it's um, it's better for for some reason. Um, and image as vertex color is only uh, for um, if you have uh, static meshes. And we can import um, more of this with um, static mesh option. This is for distance meshes. So I think it's interesting to see this. So. Um, uh, we will just make this area a lot bigger, like so. It warns us it's uh, pretty big. Then uh, overall area is approximately 200 square kilometers, all right. And we check here import as mesh. We don't enable mesh collision collision here because uh, we don't. It's just for for demonstration. We don't want to have a playable area. Anyway, we have this, so we can hit import, and we will see in a minute that it uh, imports all the surrounding areas as static meshes. It's procedural mesh uh, uh, at first. And then um, we will have uh, 
uh, the possibility to this uh, procedural method mesh meshes, and we have the possibility to um, uh, convert them to as replace them with a net mesh, which is, is sensitive in the content. Um, I think I didn't uh, smooth the edges, but all right, it's just uh, one thing you can do, but it's not really mandatory. So the next thing I want to do is uh, to delete. Uh, this mesh which was imported here because we also have imported it um, here in this area because we have encompassed everything so we have our landscape here and now we have the possibility to select all the tiles and and um, add satellite images. Um, I will also add it as decal just to have the same uh, look and feel. I think it's also possible to make it uh, import as as material. So that's it's, it's a texture. Uh, one thing to be warned: if you want to import it as vertex color, make sure you have a high resolution because this um, landscape here has a resolution which is determined by the resolution of the netbox data, and so um, you would get a texture uh, or, um, of only this resolution, or not at eight K. We have um, here this. Um, Decal, which has a resolution of 8K, and so it's it's a lot better. And also, um, we don't want to have it as vertex color here because uh, we would get a low resolution. Maybe it's interesting to have it at vertex color when it's far away and it's just a distance mesh in a, in a game or something like that. Then you can check vertex color because uh, the high resolution is not necessary. But if it uh, it's on the border of your um, of your playable area or area uh, where you can move around and see things from near then I would recommend to um, import it as decal or as material which will result in a texture quality of 8k the maximum quality and um, only if it's farther away and it's not um, important to see it from near, then it's a good option to go with vertex color because it's uh, a lot cheaper. So um, for the sake of this, uh, we can do both. Actually, let's do both. We select the surrounding meshes here, and uh, do we have all? Yeah, that's fine. And we can import them as this material. It will take a while when we import so big areas. Sometimes the um, uh, progress bar gets a little bit stuck because it's asynchronous and uh, it's not always clear where we are at every a request. So please be patient if you want to import bigger areas with Mapbox progress bar not always shows the right uh, progress anyway it will finish uh, after a while but with big maps it will take some time so here we are this is uh, the final result and you see uh, it looks pretty much the same from the coloring because the resolution is the same and when we go to our landscape which is actually this one and look here you see there is um, the same colors and everything is fine shading is of course a little bit different but um, we didn't set up the lightning here so uh, this would be an another thing we have to look into when we go further here back uh, in these areas we didn't um, import any satellite data so we will do this here again 
to see the difference of vertex color and um, decal and we also see uh, what um, that, that it's good enough to, if we have it just in the distance. Alright, we are done here and from afar there is no difference at all. But if you look from here, you will probably you will probably see it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you have you can see the difference in the resolution. So um, for a far distance mesh, I think it's good enough. Houses. We go back to our landscape and have a look to the far. Yeah, it's it's fine to use it from afar. All right, that's what I wanted to show you. The next thing, uh, of course, is to import um, props on this landscape. And everything related to, uh, to this will be covered in the next tutorial.